Welcome to my Flash CS5 Tutorial 23 titled Walking Man with Moving Background. I'm going to start by opening the Tutorial 22 which was the Walking Man. There he is on Scene 1. Lock this layer and insert a new layer. Call it temp, T-E-M-P, it's just a temporary layer. Stage down to 25%. Pick up the line tool and draw a line approximately where his feet, where his feet are. That's close enough. Lock that layer. Insert another layer. Call it path, P-A-T-H. Select frame one. I want to pick up a brownish color for my path. So there's two colors I've chosen for my path. Pick up a paintbrush and draw a wiggly path. As long as the green line in the middle, that temp line is there. Make sure it's a completely enclosed. And now pick up a darker brown. Pick up the fill bucket. Fill it. Now let's zoom in on it a little bit. And that's going to be my path. You can make it as fancy as you want. We can delete, unlock this temp one, call it grass, G-R-A-S-S, -S, and call it front, F-R-N-T, that's the grass in front. That would be down here. Go back to 25%. And pick up a paintbrush again. This time I want a dark green. Pick up the pinwheel, get a dark green. There it is. And I'm going to use my paintbrush and right over the top of that, remember it's a different layer, I'm going to draw my grass. And it doesn't matter that you sometimes hit the brown. It doesn't matter, it's just as long as you don't pick up your finger, leave your finger on the mouse and as long as you're down below the stage we're all right I'm gonna put another little bit here pick up your fill color and I want it to be a little bit lighter green than that pick up your bucket and there's my my paths pick the man up layer and put it up top so he's on top of these. Now unlock both grass and path layers. Pick up your selection tool, highlight it all, open the properties panel and see this here, this lock, this has the width and the height locked together so make sure that's broken and select the width and type in 3000 enter. Now we have a very long section here. Close this properties panel. Go up to about frame 400. Click and drag down on all those layers. Right click, insert keyframes. And if you still have this all highlighted, if not, right click, select all, that'll do it. And using your arrow keys, move this grass and this, keep moving it, keep moving it. Until you get to the boat here. Click 
on this any section of this lower layer create a class between click here create class between now let's just test this for a minute see what it looks like there he is walking along the path and there's some things you can straighten you can put grass in here and you can put things in here but he'll walk for all those 400 frames back on scene one lock all layers select the path layer insert a layer call this grass g-r-a-s-s -S, back b-a-k grass in the back lock it unlock the grass front layer you can see it's highlighted if not click on it click your selection tool get the cross here is right click copy it lock the front layer grass front unlock grass back layer select frame one come on the stage right click paste in place use my arrow keys and direct tabbing it up and I'm going to put it about here see where it is and I'm going to drag that down below the path layer so it's it's in here it's grass I want it a little bit higher I want it a bit higher there's where I want it right there can you see where I approximately have it yes and now I'm going to click on it make sure it's selected you can see those lines it's selected go up to modify transform flip vertically horizontally and now it doesn't look like it's symmetrical to the other the other side lock that layer oh, we have to tween it go to the end here frame 400 right and click here insert keyframe and now you got to tab this using your arrow keys tab that section down so it lines up with the other one keep tabbing it down with the arrow key you can just drag it if you want click it and drag it like that either way whichever you want I'm trying to I'm trying to fill this spot here and down there see that a little bit there that's good for me come up and on this grass back right click classic tween let's test this out and that basically moves the same speed Um, lock all the layers go to frame one and see this green line I'm trying to find out what layer it's on there it is it's on the that layer right there so double click on it and see that line delete it and oh, don't want to do that just the line there it is. Got that line out there and back to scene one. And we're in business. Lock all the layers. Select the path layer. Insert another layer. Call it trees. Select frame one. They're going to be a darker color green. So I'm going to pick up green going to go again and pick up my spin wheel here and come up with a dark green they're as dark as I want it okay pretty close to this and I'm going to use my paintbrush again and draw some trees I draw them in groups like there's a group there draw another group One more here and pick up some lighter fill. Pick up the pinwheel, a lighter fill there again. OK. 
Okay. And let's fill out with the bucket. There's my, my trees. I have them done. I'm going to make sure it's the only layer that's selected. I'm going to select frame one. Right click on the stage, select all. Get the crosshairs, right click, copy. Come back down, right click, paste in place. And now using the arrow keys, we're going to pull that over. percent move it over a little more good right click on the stage again select all so now we get all the trees open the property panel again making sure this is unlocked and make these about 1300 Make sure that's unlocked. Enter, and there's my trees. Let's go down to the end of the timeline on this 400. Select that one frame. Insert keyframe. There it is. And using your arrow keys or clicking on it and dragging it, drag it down to about there. That's going to move a lot slower. Up in here, anywhere on this tree line, right click, classic tween. And we have one more thing to put on it. And then we can try it. Lock all layers. Select the tree layer. Insert a layer. Call it sky. S K Y. Select frame one. And all we're going to do here now is pick up a rectangle tool. We want no fill or no stroke and we want a really light blue for the sky. I'm going to pick this blue up, open my wheel and make it really light. There's my sky, OK. And just make sure that I have everything. I want to make sure all this is covered. I want to make sure all this is covered and go beyond my stage like that. Now naturally we don't want that here, so grab that sky layer, bring it down to the bottom. Let's test this out. There's the man walking. Now we're gonna put the trees behind the grass. I want the trees to be behind the grass in the back. Ah, much better. Much, much, much better. Let's try this once more. That's pretty good. And you can spend a lot of time with your graphics. So now we want this to stop at the end of this 400 up to 400, make sure all the layers are locked, select the top layer, insert action script, AS, click this last frame, right click, insert blank keyframe, open your actions panel, and stop, S-T-O-P, open, close bracket, semicolon, and now when he's finished, he will stop. And it's going to be quite a path. You can put little pieces of grass in here. You can put, put stems on your trees. You, I will do a follow-up to this. It'll be 24. I'm going to try to do a 24. And I hope it's going to be man jumping. I'd like to make him jump. Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learned.